Sabi girl no they too like talk Animals they in human form Body man nobody like work But you must hustle if you want job He no finish they won't fight boss If them they run them no fit that job Happy Easter guys! Happy Easter! Well, you're definitely watching this video another day, not Easter. But today is Sunday the 31st and it's Easter Sunday and I am having like a small Easter barbecue with my friends and family today. Oh, I just came back from church. I've not even gone upstairs. My bag is still here, literally. I just removed my church clothes, wore my stay-at-home jalabia, my favorite. And I'm cooking now. Even I prepared some things yesterday. So, I'm making jollof rice and coconut rice. I could have just paid someone to cook this food, you understand? But I just, I just like these things sometimes a little too much because I don't understand why I did not. Anyways, um, <laughs> after I cooking, so I'm making jollof rice, coconut rice, then I'm also making asun, then more like peppered goat meat. Yeah? Then I'm also making a pepper soup and then salad. So those are things I'm cooking. Then the other day we went and bought ram. So the suya people are coming. So they're doing ram suya, chicken suya. And then lots of drinks. I hired like, I hired several so because I, I don't want like during the party to be walking up and down. Then I also hired, like rented like um, coolers for the drinks and a bunch of things. Basically in this vlog you guys will see all that we get up to. Okay, so there will be not too much talking in this vlog. This is probably the only time I'll get to actually raise my camera and talk in this vlog. So you guys should enjoy the rest of the vlog. Okay. Mwah.
my children thought they were going to come and disturb me this holiday, but <laughs> I got plans for them. By the way, they are learning the Ten Commandments. Kobe kind of knows it already. So for the little ones, right? So these are sorry about the printer noise. So these are the Ten Commandments, and this is basically explaining it in a way that they will understand. Like you shall not kill, for example, never hurt anyone. I mean. It's not like they're planning to kill somebody at this age. So I just printed this form so that they actually know the meaning. So I'm going to paste this in their playroom. And every morning they will recite it for me. If you don't recite it for the day, they're not playing that day. And I'm printing out some like worksheets for, especially Kobe, because Skyco and Adana are actually doing lessons Monday to Friday this holiday. <laughs> I'm doing that thing that my parents did to me that they didn't enjoy. No, I'm doing it to my children. Anyways, um, I'm printing out stuff. For them to use and be practicing and i'm so happy with myself so guys something that's never happened to me before actually happened to me for the first time i'm smiling but <laughs> but i'm not smiling so some days back i was trying to transfer money to my husband is really his money i was trying to send it to him for something and i mistakenly transferred it to the wrong francis <laughs> another bank the story is long so i quickly had to message my account manager shout out to you you're the best in fact i don't even know if you watch my videos but um anyways she's the best so i quickly had to message her and she said to send her the person's details which i did so she had to contact the person's bank and they had to like hold the money so the person cannot access the money I cannot do anything with the money really and at first i didn't even remember who i sent the money to so i had to like think the first person i thought it was i went to meet the person it wasn't that person so i really had to think and eventually i found out who the person is and this is somebody i used to buy tomato from from the market <laughs> it's crazy like i always patronize him i know i have a good relationship with him like even when his wife gave birth he told me i gave him money like it's somebody i'm usually nice to right and then i called him and you know he got the money of course he got the money and this is a lot of money by the way it's like my limit for the day so yeah so um and he now goes um that oh he's actually owing bank 200k so that the minute that money entered his show bank has taken 200k i'm like no that's not how it works that the money is already on hold and even him now even if that money says in account he dies he can't assess the money because they've held the money and they know it's a mistake that even if he doesn't go and sign to give me back the money i can get a court order and get my money back you know i was just basically trying to explain it to him so he doesn't feel like his money he can use because he was already trying to tell me how much he's suffering how he has not been making money since last year how you know he had to leave ph and go and hustle in another state and it was just a lot of story but fast forward to to today um i'm supposed to meet him very soon actually he's supposed to be on his way so he wasn't in ph so he came back to ph yesterday because of you know he, i was supposed to go with him to the bank to transfer the money out so um we were supposed to go do that very soon so hopefully fingers crossed um i don't know why like it's just actually a bit suspicious so i'm not going alone i'm going with like you know people um yeah i'll not be going alone for that transaction Nigeria is hard, I know, but like when somebody mistakenly sends money to your account, the best you can do is just give it back to the person. Like, don't be a mean person, don't be difficult, don't be greedy, don't tell me you're owing bank 200k, don't tell me how life how hard life is for you because you don't even know what the person wants to use the money for. You don't know if they borrow the money, you don't know if it's their last card. And even if it's not borrowed, even if they are very rich, like is not in your place it was a mistake that you should be happy to just rectify for the person because we should all be good normal human beings right but i know that that's not the reality so let's see how it goes i'm smiling but i'm not smiling um my husband is not around would have gone for this together but of course i'm going with some other people so we'll see how it goes i'll come back and update you guys but just know that it wasn't funny it's, it's actually not funny but my company was so fantastic god i'm so grateful for her i'll come back and update you guys